So right now, we have our room, but we we're almost done. We can't uh, exactly run this map just yet. Right now, there's no place for the player, the user, to jump into the game. There's no spawn. This being a Team Fortress 2 map and all, we're going to use a team spawn, that's what it's called, to provide a place for whoever's joining our game to join the game. And that's going to use this last tool that I'm going to go over um, for this part one of the tutorial, which is the entity tool. So click on that, and you'll be, you can't tell right now, it doesn't do anything visible other than it activates this box up here. For me, I don't know where the box might be for you, but it, it has moved selected to world, to entity, categories, entities, objects. We should be in the entities category if you're not click the down box and click entities and then click objects and you'll see this whole smorgasbord of uh, things that you can put in your map. Entities are it basically and this is oversimplifying a little bit but basically if you're not a block if you're not one of these brushes that we've been building you're probably an entity. You are a um, an object that does something else, interacts with the game world, has more complex properties than just is a solid, is a 3D solid. So in your objects box, you can uh, change type. Uh, you can you can type whatever you want in there, and it'll search it out for you. You can search for it manually. We're going to look for player. And then things that have to do with the player will come up here. You got info, player start, info player team spawn, and then a bunch of other crap. We're going to use an info player team spawn since we're doing Team Fortress 2, I assume. Uh, this is, uh, I'm, I'm going to pause right here and, and, and explain. I, I'm planning on making this entire map making process a kind of Team Fortress 2 uh, thing. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in. The next tutorial. Uh, if you don't have Team Fortress 2, that's fine, but much of the later tutorial sections that I plan on doing will not uh, apply to you because we're going to be doing some Team Fortress 2 triggers and they're not the same as um, Half Life 2 or Counter Strike triggers, although they share many similarities. So once you're in, once you have your info player team spawn ready, you can actually click anywhere on the map and then it should just pop it right into existence. And you can see it's a little bit green man. It looks like Gordon Freeman, I think. And now that's a, a an object that you can move around in your world. If you go to your 2D views, then you can click and drag him wherever you want him to go. I'm going to put him over here in the corner. The thing about spawns is you need to give him a little bit of space on the bottom for some reason. I'm not sure why. So go to your either your front or your side view and lift them up and ground a little bit. There. Now we have a spawn. You can also use uh, entities to put other things in, other useful stuff, other interesting stuff. Uh, let's try putting, I don't know, an ammo pack. So type in ammo in there. We've got item, ammo pack, full, medium, and small. Pick one and then you can place it on the ground or on the wall for all I care. And here we have a Team Fortress 2 medium ammo pack. And you can place this wherever you like. Just going to have something interesting to goof around with when we start our map. So that's it. This is basically all um, you need, not the ammo pack of course, in order to run a map, you need a spawn, and you need something that's sealed off from the blackness out here. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later in the, um, in the later tutorials, why that's important, and what your computer is doing out there while you're in here. Um, so let's save it. File, save. Save as, I don't know, tutorial 1, but whatever. Then up here you'll see this little game controller thing. It's called Run Map. You can click that. It'll come up with some parameters and stuff. This is the uh, simple Run Map procedures. 
And if you click Expert, then these are some uh, extra things, or you can you can um, have the computer run different programs in order to compile and run your map. Uh, just stick with normal for right now. And I'm going to say, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to uncheck don't run game after compiling. And then when you're done with that, then click OK. And here we are in the game. Right now, your game doesn't have any description because we haven't filled it up. But everything else is normal, so random. I don't know. I like playing Demo Man. Here we are in our room. Everything is as it should be. But you can see there's not a whole lot to do in here other than shoot and grab some ammo. Also, you might notice some oddities like uh, this bottle right here is kind of purple. We're going to get to that later. And obviously there's no win or lose conditions. All you can do is just kind of walk around for a while. So like I said, most tutorials just tell you how to do this, and then they give up on the rest of it because it's too hard. Well, it is pretty freaking hard. But I don't want you to sit here and hammer and just fool around with a tiny room for the rest of your lives until you get bored of it. So we're going to do something a little bit more drastic in the next few tutorials. So thanks, and uh, tune in for tutorial number two, coming up soon. Everybody come on. Yeah.